Hey guys, this is PC Entertainment. I'm your host, Priscilla Nichols, and you are watching True Foodie Travels. <laughs> Today I'm in Frisco, Texas, here at Deli News, New York style restaurant, where they may bring you your Russian and Jewish favorites, triple decker sandwiches, and all the fixings, <laughs> as we say here in Texas, right? <laughs> but we're gonna go in and check them out. They have been deemed the number one deli for D Magazine, The Observer, USA Today. So I think that we should go give it a shot and see what we think. Please forgive me of my looks. My name is Priscilla Nichols. I am with PC Entertainment and I'm starting a new show called Trip Food Travel, Travel, Travel Food. True foodie travels, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm a little nervous because I'm talking to the big guys, look. <laughs> Hi. Hi, and I was coming to talk about your restaurant, Deli News, and I would like to, if you would like to shed some on little subject on your, how you guys started. Well, um, I had been going to, they had a pri another, they have another location, they have one mm -hmm. at Preston and Campbell, and I've been going there for 25 years as a customer mm -hmm. and eating, watching how popular it was, because again, it's not just another restaurant, it's a specialty restaurant because it's, it is a New York style mm -hmm. deli, corned beef, pastrami, blintzes, mm -hmm. bagels. Mm -hmm. There's other restaurants around that attempt that, but not with the real New York flair. Mm -hmm. And we, we actually get our food, we order it, it comes out of New York. And, uh, you know, we have all the, the things that most people, when they think of a deli, would like. Right. And so, so we kept, I kept hearing that, and then he and I. Saw, Zork and I, who was the owner's son at the other place, had always been talking, became friends, and talking about the fact that a lot of customers have asked for something up north, mm -hmm. because there's nothing up here other than a Denny's and an IHOP and right. a Deli, but not even a Cindy's, you know, right. and this is a growing area, so we felt like, you know, after, you know, that when we decided to do it, we wanted to wait till we found a space of a restaurant where there was equipment already that goes out of business. Mm -hmm. So after about a year, year and a half, we located one and completely gutted the place. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you Yeah, it yeah, yeah, I have. Look at look at this, guys. Isn't this great? I mean, it is set up exactly. That is so great. So, so you know, we haven't really advertised a lot, but yet mm -hmm. it, every day is better. Mm -hmm. It's better and better, and the more people find out that we're here. Mm -hmm. Uh, they want to come to try it out. Yeah. And uh, so far, so good. You know, we we uh, we have a little, a little ways to go because you got to fine tune the staff and the food, and mm -hmm. uh, we're pretty much there. The food is fine tuned. Yeah. You just need to fine tune the staff. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> the food is amazing. I will say so, that I had the. Uh, I, I don't really take credit for operating it. That Zorik <laughs> does that. I, I, I was an investor. He takes peach. He operates it too. He's operating too. Yeah. <laughs> You can tell he doesn't want to be on it. <laughs> anyway, that's what that's so that's how we got where we are. All right, thank you so much for talking with me. What oh, was yeah. your name again? Rick. Nice to meet you, Rick. I'd love to see your show. Will you let us know? Oh, I sure will let you know. Most definitely, I'm very much so on social media, so I'm gonna leave all my information with you guys. We'll leave right. it with uh, Janice, I guess. All right. Well, you guys heard it first right there from Rick. And Zork, I won't put him back on the camera. Yeah, he doesn't like to be on the camera. From the background. <laughs> Zork from the background. <laughs> I would say one thing, if you want a really, really good New York style corned beef or pastrami sandwich, you need to come ch check it out. Yes, you do. I think do. you'll be very, very happy. <laughs> Thank you so much Thank for you. talking with me. I appreciate it. You, Thank All you. right. Let me give you guys a look at the rest of So today I'm having the pastrami Reuben here at the Daily News, and as you can see, it is great. Look at all this meat. You have pastrami, you have sauerkraut, you have Swiss cheese, I even have a sauce to go with it. Let's taste it and find out. Flavor. Beautiful, delicious flavor. The pastrami is just right. 
the way it's layered. It has a little fat to it. So you gotta have more fat on there. Of course, you can get it lean if you'd like, but why would you do that? Why don't you run a good sandwich? Layered with sauerkraut, Swiss cheese, delicious homemade Jewish bread, rye bread. Oh my god. This is so good. Mm. It's so great to have the taste of New York right here in your own backyard. If you've never been to New York, stop by the Daily News. <laughs> They'll give you a little taste of it. Prepare you. Again, they have a very extensive menu. They have all your Russian and Jewish favorites. They even have great desserts. And the beautiful thing about it is, nothing is fancy because they don't want to take away from the flavor of the food and the authenticity of the food. I love this place. I suggest you guys try it. <laughs> Anyways, this is True Foodie Travels. I am your host, Priscilla Nichols. This is with PC Entertainment. And until next time, guys, great eateries. Eat my sandwich. Eat my sandwich. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you?